All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So today I'm going to show you another power station. This power station is really nice because it's compact. I do have another power station. It's a little bit bigger, has expandable um, solar panels as well. You can do solar panels on this one. And my solar panels for my other one should work on here too because I have the port for it. So uh, this one right here is 600 watts, 140,000 milliamp hour battery inside this thing, man. So this one is also a little bit easier to understand. Uh, and I'll, get, I'll show you what I mean. Here's your power brick right here. You get the two pieces for the cable and everything. And then they also give you the car charging port here. It's really nice. And then you get very simple, easy to understand instructions. There's no way that you can mess this up because it tells you exactly how to do it. So you got your, your DC power, your AC power. You got a torch light right there. Uh, and you have a 60 watt right here. This is the one that I'm excited about because I have MacBooks and I have phones that fast charge and I currently use a 60 watt, uh, but it's not on a power bank. So you've got your type C here as well, 15 watts. And then you have a quick charge 3.0 port as well, USB. And this is where you charge it up at. And this is also where you will plug your solar panels as well. And then you've got two 12, uh, 12 volt uh, outputs right there. So two regular standard home plugs right here. And this is a 12 volt for your car. This is the cigarette lighter plug people know it as. So on the bottom here, ugh, this is a power bank folks and it's super heavy. You've got all your information here. So you can see 600 watts, 140,000 milliamp bar capacity in there. Ugh. On the top here, you've got a stainless steel carrying handle, which is I think is just really nice it doesn't get any better than that i really like having that because this is a giant battery folks so this is heavy and on the back you'll see the port for the fan and that fan is only kicked on here's a fan down here as well and there's another out right there the fan is only kicked on maybe once and that's when i was charging it these take a long time to charge folks because it is a hundred and forty thousand watt milliamp hour battery inside so you can turn on the torch right here by holding down this button right here. You can see the torch comes on. So if you're in a situation where you know you need to power on the torch and then you got your AC right here and your DC. So these are ACs right here, folks. Obviously this is AC. So <laughs> this is the one you'll probably use the most. Not a lot of people use DC, uh, but here's how the interface looks. Now these hours right here change depending on what, if you're using it or not. So I could plug in pretty much anything to this thing. And I like that I have enough ports. So for me, how would I use this? Well, my, my home, this home that I'm at right now uh, that I have, it's tankless. So meaning some of you guys, when you look for your hot water, you have this big giant thing in your garage. Well, my house doesn't have that. It has a little small tankless system. And that means that if the power goes off for me, I have gas here also. I can plug my tankless into here. I can just sit this in the garage and plug this up and I'll have full power, like hot baths, like anything. So uh, also I have gas at my, at my house. So this is a, this is like coming in clutch for a person who, who has tankless or has things that are, are just can be plugged in to run. Also, if I wanted to, I could run my refrigerator from this as well. But what I would do with this right here is not so much charge things, I guess, in a, in, a, uh, in a situation where it's an emergency because last year we had a huge power outage uh, and I was without power for three days and I didn't have my generator and I didn't have any power stations. I only had like these small power banks like this. And you think about this, this is 10,000. Then I've got some that are 20,000. I've got wireless ones. I've got these all over the place, but they'll never compare to something like this. I mean, this is these are these are going to come in clutch because these are actually power stations. So if you don't want to run a gas generator, get get these right now. You can grab this for one hundred and fifty dollars off. I'll have a link in the description for this. Plug up pretty much anything to this, folks, and you are good to go. It's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed a quick overview and, and look at this power station here. I appreciate them sending this over for review and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.